Well, here it is, the last part, the rumor wars. Let's go talk to Morning Myrtle for the last time. There are lots of new things to see in our secret room area. <laughs> Lovely. You can finally go in the rumor wars. We've got 100%. Let's go in. Who cast me with you? All your discoveries are making my arm. Yeah, I got 100%. That's why. <laughs> Anyway, I'll just show you all the cups I've unlocked and I'll talk um, while I'm showing you them because I unlocked all of them. I did a couple off screen because it would have taken like three, ten, probably like fifteen videos to upload, but whatever. Hello, Harry. Oh, God. I've been waiting for you. You found lots of special things, haven't you? Mm. No one's ever found things as fast as you. I hope you keep discovering them. I can't. Then you can fill up us. Special room, and I won't tell anyone else about it, Harry. It will be our secret. <sighs> there Get are out. a lot of interesting things. I wonder what else will appear in here. Nothing. I've discovered everything. Oh, there's the portrait password. See, the animations are quite cool. So you can have a look at those. Those are the videos that uh, I've unlocked, and I'll show you all of them because I'm such a nice person. I don't think, oh sorry, um, no I'm showing you that I got 100% because I'm just so cool like that, um, yeah, her house ghost cup, I just want to say a very quick thank you to everyone who's uh, subscribed, everyone who's watched my videos, blah -de blah -de blah I will, if you stay tuned for the whole video, which hopefully some people will, um, I've got a few thank yous and special, not special announcement, just a few thank yous to certain people. So, um, yeah, I know it's long, but it will, it will be worth it because um, some of the videos that are shown are actually quite good and they're quite enjoyable and they've got good um, good pictures as well, not just videos and things. They've got um, actual actors who played in the game who speak about, you know, the game and characters and, I don't know, whatever. Like the sound guy will talk about sound and blah blah. It's it's quite good fun to watch. So hopefully you enjoy it. So uh, you won't have to hear from me again for the rest of the video. So there you are. Uh, it's all uh, the videos and stuff. So that's that's really cool. Hope you enjoy it. Um, the last one. What is it? It's the school pride cup. Of course I had to get that, didn't we? Lovely. Anyway, it's been a pleasure bringing you this walk through. Hopefully you enjoy the room rewards. It's actually quite good. So yeah, the next video you'll get from me is another walkthrough part. I'm really looking forward to doing that. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Nearly at the end. Here we are. All right, I'll watch. I'll let you watch all the uh, videos here. They're really cool. All right, see ya. I was a massive fan of the books, and I'd read, I think, the first and the second. And, uh, yeah, then Newsround were advertising kids to um, send in, like, application forms and that. And my mum videoed me doing this. I made this, like, rap song of <laughs> how much I wanted to be in the film. And... Are you a talking gargoyle? You normally talk to ones that can't speak. I don't normally talk to gargoyles. Or should imagine many gargoyles are grateful for that. Ginny was obviously the youngest and the only girl, so that's quite a lot of pressure. But I think it's quite fun at the same time, because I can kind of, as a character, you can, she can kind of get away with things. Well done, Ginny. Blowing things up comes naturally when you've grown up with Fred and George. Because I'm not doing school now, I've got more time to play on the game, so it's good. We do quite like the, like the action adventure, like the Harry Potter game. completely exceeded all of my expectations of quite what a video game could achieve in terms of realness. I think a lot of people can relate to the characters because you know, there's Hermione who's you know, the really brainy one who always kind of thinks one step ahead and you know Harry's obviously the brave but quite quiet at the same time but then Ron's kind of the jokey one. Kids can sort of, uh, sort of relate to the, the whole school side of it because um, I mean they, 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 do, they have lessons, they have exams and stuff. So they can sort of relate to that side, but they've also got the, 
whole sort of magic thing with giants and, and all these sort of amazing sort of creatures. A lot of films, especially ending games, it's all always the adult who comes through and they're always the big the big hero, whereas in Harry Potter it sort of shows, especially in, in this one, in the Order of the Phoenix, how the, the adults you know, have got it wrong, like Umbridge isn't making sense all the time, and the Harry and everyone know that. Accio Brew! One of the other important things for us on this game was also to bring our characters to life and to bring them a lot closer to, to the film and to the actors that, that people know. This time we really, really want people to feel like they're looking at the, the film characters in the game. And so we've, we've gone through uh, with the actors and uh, done head scans uh, of all the actors uh, to incorporate them into the game. What they do with the computers and, and kind of how they make our faces uh, just as if they were us. It was weird, you know, when we first saw them. It's, it's, I don't know, it's a thing for like, I think every lad to have their face on a game. And to be in it is fantastic. It, it looks really lifelike. We wanted the students to sound like the people you hear in the film. So where better to go than the actual actors themselves. And as you walk around the castle, hearing Fred and George calling out to you, and it being James and Oliver Phelps. Try this little spell, and one from me too. Incendio! Loco Mortimort! <laughs> Don't kill Cedric, boo-hoo! Oh, I think Potter's gonna cry. Push off, Potter! Got your bed booked in the hospital, wing! Loser! There was a lot of giggles, and it was very hard to keep a straight face. Protego Maxima! Protego Maxima! You've got to say it three times, and one of those three will do it. Also, so when you play the game, um, every time you hear me saying a spell or doing something, it's slightly different. It's not always the same. Well, there are never enough of us, but the ones we've got are really good. You've met Kingsley Shacklebolt. He's great. And don't worry, we're not all as mad as Mad Eye. Working with the cast from the film uh, was, was a great opportunity for me. I thought it was great fun. Um, I particularly like working with Rupert Grint because he's probably my favourite character in the film, Ron, because uh, he's just got great script and he delivers his lines so well. You should write a book. Translating mad things girls do so boys can understand them. It's quite scary because it's, it's so real. It's, it's, it is amazing. And you can sort of see how they sort of progress from like the first one. It was just some random ginger person. And this time it's like proper, proper weird. It's really good though. You Slytherins think you're so good. Let's hope this makes Umbridge's name mud at the Ministry. Because a while ago I saw they had the, um, the face of me, but they've kind of developed it more. Kind of, they didn't have the hair and everything. And it was kind of weird because it does look kind of weird like you. And I was looking at everyone else's and it's just weird how you just, it's like them, but it isn't them. So we're just trying to make people feel that, uh, that the characters that they are, they're moving around the game are actually the, the characters that they, they see when they watch the film. This is like being in one of Bin's History of Magic lessons. Akio! Honestly, Harry, you should take more care of books. You'd better get upstairs. You know what Hermione's like if you're late. You think you're special just because your aunt's in the ministry. That's like your father, jumping feet first into trouble. Potter. I initially uh, auditioned for Harry and, and Ron, um, just because obviously they were, the, they were the main parts at the time, and, uh, and eventually went for Draco um, and succeeded in getting it. Potter took his time getting here. What are you going to do without your pet teacher, Potter? I do like and enjoy playing the baddie. He's just a bit more, uh, well, fun, really, and put it in a nutshell. What do you want, Malfoy? Professor Snape wants to see you in his office. He says it's time for your remedial potions lesson. You think you're so good. Useless loser. Take this, Potter. We'll show you. 
Oh, look. They've come to save their little friend. Come on, then, Potter. What are you going to do? Dan, in a sense, is, is uh, obviously he's not Harry Potter, but in a sense, he's something like him, and Rupert's something like Ron, and Emma's something like Hermione. It's nice, to, it's nice for me to be the complete opposite of what I am. Or what I hope to be. I like to think I portray myself as a rather gentle young lad. You're gonna lose, mud blood lovers. There's something, there's something nice about uh, hating the, the villain. I suppose the more, the more hate I would get from a child, as in the more, ah, oh, you're evil, the better I've done my job. This year is even more exciting than normal because uh, we've managed to license the Hedwig's theme from the film, which everybody associates as being the music to Harry Potter. Um, the other really cool thing is the fact that we record the music with a, with a real orchestra. Audio can actually bring uh, the fiction to life. So quite often we don't need to have the visuals to actually bring extra elements of the fiction uh, to the game. Is when you go down to the dungeons where Slytherin hang out, uh, even though you might not see howlers go off, you can hear them in the distance. One of the things we're trying to do this year is actually get close to the movie. And obviously one of the key things to do would be to actually use the movie cast. So we've tried to get in as many of the kids as possible, and we've actually got 22 characters from the film actually voicing their own parts in this game. Uh, two of the major ones include uh, Rupert Grint, who plays Ron, and uh, Ray Fiennes, who plays uh, Lord Voldemort. This looks really useful. You're going to make us take it back, am I? That little snot rag is trying to jinx us. Then let's show him how it's really done. Shh. Make it finish. Quick, get to bed before Mum catches us. My boss has got it. Whatever it is. Yeah. Harry Potter, the boy who stopped the Dark Lord. I shall wonder how he did it. Bet you wouldn't mind hiding that scar sometimes, eh? You'll have to learn the hard way, I'm afraid. Metamorph Magi are really rare. They're born, not made. Oh, you're going to fight us, are you? You should run off! I will kill you now, old man. I'd read the first four books before I went for my first audition for the film. I've been a fan before, I got the part, I uh, still am now. I was just content with, with going for the audition and um, to say, yeah, I went, for, I went for an audition for that. Locomotor Mortis! Accio! Protego Maxima! Neville's most important quality is his courage. Don't you call me an idiot! And we definitely see it in Order of the Phoenix, the way he doesn't care what danger he's going into, even though he's the most terrified he's ever been, he'll still do it because he knows it's the right thing to do. Did you know Jeannie Weasley and Michael Corner were going out? I don't think it will last though. Do you? Being Harry's love interest um, was a lot of fun. Don't go, Harry! I... I want to talk to you. There probably are a lot of envious girls out there because, you know, Daniel is a very good-looking guy. There's one thing that Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix really brings forward is, is just how difficult it is being a kid that age at school. All the problems, as well as not just like the big bad guys that are trying to come and kill you, but all just school life. They are just, at the end of the day, ordinary kids. Uh, they play, they fight. Children being the main characters and the heroes just makes it a lot more fun as well at the same time. People can think, yeah, I'm there with them. I'm only young, but I can do all this stuff. When we went to create uh, Hogwarts for Order of the Phoenix this year, we really took ourselves back to basics. We looked at what we'd built in the other games, looked at how that sort of fitted, how that didn't. When we began, we took, took the blueprints of Hogwarts, we took the notes we had from Joanne Rowling, and we took all the notes we'd taken from the books, um, and we tried to sort of bring all those together to understand how Hogwarts fitted together. It's amazing, there's so much 
much you know detail that goes into all the games and because they have like hundreds of computers and it's quite like the art department in uh, the studios for Harry Potter and all the concept drawings and how much you know detail they have to go behind like before it to get to the actual finishing product. So with the sound effects we're re really able to bring Hogwarts to life. <laughs> in some bits and pieces so as you're walking down the grand staircase you'll hear the portrait speaking to you you must venture out into the castle and find it mr potter the, the, the actual the game looks amazing but the building particularly it just it's incredible the likeness of everything is so so accurate to what it is actually like for me on the set the gryffindor common room is just very detailed and it just looks exactly like the actual Gryffindor calling room in the films with the, the big tapestries up and all the portraits and the tiniest little details like the um, stack of books on the table. It was really funny watching it because I sort of recognised bits. I was like, oh, I wrote that. You know, there's kind of Dumbledore's army and it's got my personal handwriting on it and the sets are exactly what the sets are like in the film and Hogwarts is exactly as it is represented in the films, which you've never really had a sense of before. But we had a challenge that we wanted a person to be able to walk from one end of it, from the boathouse, for instance, all the way through to the Owlery without the game ever stopping. And it's a great way to see it, to walk all the way through those corridors, up the stairs, through the classrooms. It's a fantastic way to see the world of Harry Potter realised.
this is time I could 